Hello everyone and welcome to Friday Message on a rainy afternoon. You may hear the rain hitting the roof of the church in the background, which is a, uh, a marvelous and pleasant sound while we have our Friday Message this afternoon. This is a prayer for peace from our prayer book on page 815. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered together under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of the one Father, to whom be dominion and glory, now and forever. Amen. I've used this book before. It's Brian McLaren's book, We Make the Road by Walking. And it is a series of, of brief chapters that are centered on uh, particular passages of scripture that he pulls out from the Old Testament and the New Testament. And then he, he, uh, he uses those scripture passages as the launching pad for a particular uh, teaching, for a particular teaching. That was thunder and lightning and the power going off for a second and the bell ringing. So this is very exciting this afternoon. Um, the chapter uh, that I want to talk a little bit about uh, is chapter 22 and it's entitled Jesus the Teacher. And the point that Brian McLaren makes in this chapter is that of all the things that Jesus was, one of the main things that he was, was a powerful teacher. And in this chapter, he goes through and he talks about all the ways that are exemplified in the gospel that Jesus was a powerful teacher. And then he says this, but what was the substance of Jesus' message? What was his point? What was the point of all that teaching that Jesus did? Sooner or later, anyone who came to listen to Jesus would hear one phrase repeated again and again. The kingdom of God. Or the kingdom of heaven. Sadly, people today hear these words and frequently have no idea what they originally meant. Or even worse, they misunderstand the phrase with complete and unquestioning certainty. For example, many think kingdom of God or kingdom of heaven means where righteous people go when they die. Or the perfect new world God will create after destroying this hopeless mess. But for Jesus, the kingdom of heaven wasn't a place we go up to someday. It was a reality, we pray, to come down here and now. It wasn't a distinct future reality. It was at hand or within reach today. To better understand this pregnant term, we have to realize that kingdoms were the dominant social, political, and economic reality of Jesus' day. Contemporary concepts like nation, state, government, society, economic system, culture, superpower, empire, and civilization all resonate in that one word, kingdom. The kingdom or empire of Rome in which Jesus lived and died was a top-down power structure in which the few on top maintained order and control over the many at the bottom. They did so with a mix of rewards and punishments. The punishments included imprisonment, banishment, torture, and execution. And the ultimate form of torture and execution reserved for rebels who dared to challenge the authority of the regime was crucifixion. It was through his crucifixion at the hands of the Roman Empire that Jesus did his most radical teaching of all. Yes, he taught great truths through signs and wonders, public lectures, impromptu teachings, 
special retreats and field trips, public demonstrations, and parables. But when he mounted Rome's most powerful weapon, he taught his most powerful lesson. By being crucified, Jesus exposed the heartless violence and illegitimate illegitimacy of the whole top-down, fear-based dictatorship that nearly everyone assumed was humanity's best or only option. He demonstrated the revolutionary truth that God's kingdom wins, not through shedding the blood of its enemies, but through gracious self-giving on behalf of its enemies. He taught that God's kingdom grows through apparent weakness rather than conquest. It expands through reconciliation rather than humiliation or intimidation. It triumphs through a willingness to suffer rather than a readiness to inflict suffering. In short, on the cross, Jesus demonstrated God's nonviolent non-compliance with the world's brutal powers that be. He showed God to be a different kind of king and God's kingdom to be a different kind of kingdom. The kingdom of God, Brian McLaren. Words to take to heart. Just a couple of, uh, one announcement and a couple of reminders of what's coming up. Just a reminder that we are wearing uh, masks indoors uh, for any indoor gatherings at St. Michael's, for worship or for other gatherings, we are masking. Uh, we are continuing to have our Wednesday 9 a.m. Eucharist with healing prayers. That happens here in the Angel Chapel. And Thursday Bible study is via Zoom, so you can tune in to Thursday Bible study on Zoom using the link in the Friday brief. Be safe. Be safe these days. Keep praying for our health care workers who are hero heroically serving on the front lines these days. And keep yourself safe and well. And God bless you. <laughs>